What's up everybody? This is Rob Shack. So turn to the next video in my Gran Turismo 4 walkthrough here. We are on Japanese Championship. This is the A-list race where we have all classic great cars of Japan. We're on Tokyo Route 246 in reverse. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. I'll make it to 1,000 subs. Hoping to get there by the end of the year. And we're doing good right now. So thank you all so much for watching these videos. They're very fun to make. Um, I've been playing through Grand Turismo 4 for a long time now. It's very, very enjoyable. Uh, I have a good time with it as I just careen into walls. I'm trying to basically help out the Supra and the um, Lancer Evo because they've been kind of screwed this whole race. Again, a weird thing with this game that they do is they basically make it where certain cars are just not going to win and I, I kind of get annoyed by that. And since some of these races, AI aren't going to be much of an issue. I'm like, well, let's just kind of mess around with some AI and see what happens here. Let's come over here, push this NSX off the road, get him back in the last. And also mess with this uh, 300ZX who's been winning because I've been so hard on the, uh, what is it? The NSX. I've been letting the 300ZX just destroy everybody. So I'm going to come up here, mess him up a little bit. Eventually I'll drive a normal race, but I just kind of want to like, see what happens here if I just make the races a little bit more interesting between cars so yeah it's this is just a lot of fun this game is great I enjoy it I enjoy uh, Grand Turismo 4 a lot it's definitely not to the same magnitude it's not as replayable to me as some of the other older games in the series I think Grand Turismo 3 is obviously the most replayable out of all of them I'm gonna break here just Everybody is so, look at how bad the AI is at like making a pass. It's like, I'm just trying to get the Supra into the front. There we go. And then here, I'm gonna get him, you pass me. Don't run into me with your with the ghost path here. Break. Look at, look at how slow. Okay. That was definitely not the best. I was hoping to keep them all together, but that didn't work. So, yeah, we'll probably get past. We'll pass the Thunder CX. Come up on this intersect and try to give him a little boost. Wow, he's still in front. That's crazy. Okay, so here, I'm gonna break here. But I definitely didn't want. I wanted the G36 to be in front of both of these two people. Because the G36 probably should be in front of both of them if we're going to do this thing the complete right way here. There's a 300ZX over there. G36, of course, just driving his ghost path just gives me a boost of speed, which is stupid. <laughs> like, dude, I'm just trying to get you in front. And you're like making this impossible. <laughs> Let's push you over here. Alright, G36. Try to actually pass. Which you're not doing. These cars are I mean this is this is the one downside to me about Grand Turismo 4 is the AI just cannot make a pass. Like Look at this. Look at how hard it is for the, the G36 to pass the NSX. This is ridiculous. And now the NSX is still here. All right, let me break here. All right. All right, 300ZX, pass him. Go. Okay. Goodness gracious. All right, we're done with that now. Again, this is just anything to make these races a little bit more interesting because the AI really do make these races very tame unless there's a chance that they're going to make a mistake which they very rarely do um it's kind of annoying <laughs> not gonna lie which is why i always am just trying to mess around with it um at this point i don't see them passing but you know i definitely took way too long i may i may just throw off the uh lancer and the supra a little bit i may i'll probably just throw the lancer down behind the Supra, and that'll be all I do next, just so the Supra gets a shot at being in second. 
But yeah, the Supra is like surprisingly pretty slow on this court or in this game, in this series at least. I don't know why. It seems like he should be destroying everybody since a lot of the courses were very favorable for the Supra. So I don't really know what that's all about, <laughs> for being completely honest. But um, yeah, it's just some of these races you just want it to be. I just want it to be a little bit more interesting. Oh, but yeah, when you when you see how the AI drive, I mean, they, it's like they're it's like there's nobody else on the road until they're like right in front of each other and then it's like oh shoot there's a car there and you're like seriously dude <laughs> so like i mean you see it when i'm like stopping in the middle of the road and being like okay pass me infinity and then the infinity bumps the nsx bumps me and then doesn't pass either of us i'm like dude literally the nsx and i are just stopped and you just <laughs> didn't even get around us so that's the one downside of this game but other than that, this game is absolutely beautiful, glorious game, very fun, very replayable in that there's just so much to do. But I feel like this game isn't quite as replayable as GT3. It's fine because there's you kind of don't want this game to be replayable because there's so many cars. You just want this game to be like fun. That's basically it. And this game is very fun, especially because, you know, there's so many cars. You can do so much in this game to make the game a little bit more enjoyable. Like, for example doing all the stuff I'm doing now, where I'm just messing with cars in the lobby here, just trying to make something interesting happen. And it's fun. And then I drop a, a 147 lap there. It's pretty good. Um, and I'll probably mess up this Lancer here. But see, this is the thing. What, how did neither of us just, like, what, what even just happened there? You know what I'm saying? Like, this game, is fun, but the AI, like, don't mis make mistakes. Like, in there's all these montages of Gran Turismo 3 and 4, or 3 and 2, where the AI just, like, totally just destroy themselves in races. And you're like, where, where is that in Gran Turismo 4? It's a lot harder to get those videos. I fortunately have a playlist on my channel, so if you're curious, you can go look. It's pretty difficult to make the AI fail, though, in this game. He basically, the only way is tire wear. That's the only way, is doing courses with tire wear and hoping that the AI make mistakes. That's pretty much all you can do. And that's not very fun, not gonna lie. I mean, it's the fact that Gradual 3 has like race on race on race on race where the AI make mistakes is one thing, but with 4, it's, I mean, yeah. You can do it in arcade mode. It's pretty fun to do AI fails in GT4's arcade mode. But in the simulation mode, it's like... I remember doing the GT3 simulation mode four years ago now. Five years ago? It's been a while. But, like, I did Grand Turismo 3 a long time ago. And, like, you just get a lot of races where the AI make mistakes. And funny things happen. There's just so many versions of that. You have the Cobra messing up on Laguna Seca. You have everybody messing up on Laguna Seca. You have the Panos. You have Skylines on that GTR race. You have so many cars that make mistakes all the time that you you have so many different races to choose from. With GT4, it's like, I've gotten a few races where the AI make mistakes, but it's definitely not super common in this game for the AI to like predictably make mistakes like you get a couple 80s cars on a certain course you get some suzuka circuit races i mean i've gotten i've seen the mazda 117 110s thing make mistakes i've seen some 80s skyline spin out on suzuka and i think those videos are all named accordingly and are also in the playlist of ai fails for gt4 that i have on my channel but it's like it's just not nearly as common i think that's kind of a bummer to me that there's just i mean they've continue to work on the AI. It's fun to work on the AI. They should work on the AI, but they should allow the, uh, there should be human likeness to them. Like you should make the AI kind of like human drivers. But what you get in these games is really just a bunch of ghost paths. That's pretty much it. And that makes it not as fun. Cause yeah, then you just, it turns into races like this where Everybody would just have driven together, and it would have been really boring, and it would have just been five, six ghost tracks with me in, behind them and then eventually passing them. And probably going slow on purpose to try to stall the race out to make it interesting. But I didn't 
do that. Instead, I just destroyed everybody and ran people off the road because I was like, let's see if anything happens. And, you know, passing is very difficult for the AI in this game. It's weird that passing is so difficult. I mean, it makes sense. Obviously, it makes sense because they focus on B-Spec mode and that's what they were going for. But it's like the slowdown of cars in the B-Spec mode is insane. And that's just the AI. So, um, but yeah, there we go. We got... You line up completely reversed. I'm surprised the NSX didn't pass the 300ZX. He was right behind him. Maybe he'll pass him right here at the last second. Let's see. Probably not. Oh my gosh, he actually did it. Look at that. So I, I destroyed them on lap two. It took three laps. <laughs> it, took, it took three laps for the for the NSX to pass the 300ZX. So that kind of proves my point right there, actually. So thank y'all for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed it. I'll show the replay too, and I won't talk during that part, so y'all can just enjoy it. But help me get 2,000 subs. Thanks.